Both fighters are 33 years of age, and Magny will have a 10-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 25 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Neil Bagney. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of one card, New York, Raging Al Iaquinta. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. Don, stop it. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out to space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the gas Find ways to just recover so that when you have that energy, it actually has It was absolutely perfect, John. A great place to put that on the ground. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have now landed for Neil Magna. Liver kick. Slips the punch nicely there. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any he's ever seen. Big punch land. Ooh. And both guys really throwing with authority. Magny's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. He got a bang! Throws the right hand there. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh, reversal here, DC. What an end to round one. Oh, nice headlock. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Second round now, folks. Ally Aquinta. 
and Neil Magny. That was again a nice strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Oh, right under the elbow, right on the perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting. So unofficially, 63 total strikes have landed for Ally Aquinta. And striking at a 44%. Oh! 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So we'll see the replay. And probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop in this contest. At two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Doug Congratulate him on a huge knock.